there's no story or history regarding Los Abbey's Seda Vicante Ale. In fact, all we know is that portions of the beer spent almost five years in the barrel. Now how many portions? To tell you the truth, no one seems to know since the recipe was burned after the beer's completion. However, we do know that the Seda Vicante Ale was inspired by the mysteries of the jurisdiction of the Catholic Church in Rome as it enters a period of Seda Vicante from the resignation or death of the Pope. This translation means vacant seat. Just like the process of the Seda Vicante in Rome, the creation of the beer itself was revealed in secrecy, but the traces of scent from its 15% alcohol content left a trail of clues. We do know that the Seda Vicante in Rome has been vacant for 13 days, from the 20th of February to the 13th of March. This means that Los Abbey was quick with their feet to plan and gather resources for their March 23rd release. We also know the approximate liquid amount. If you round the less than 100 cases at 700 milliliters a bottle times that by 12, that's a total of 900,000 milliliters or 237 gallons. Surprisingly, this ran out shortly before 12 noon during its release. Being the first drink of the day, 11 a.m. to be exact, this 15% ABV holy water would definitely get you baptized for sure. You will notice the alcohol taste since it's not hidden compared to the other mysterious ingredients that make the set of a Conte ale. For those who may come across it, I'd advise you to work your way up by starting yourself with other brews. That is, unless you're willing to confess your sins after drinking a bottle. Being part of the Angel Share family, you can definitely taste the barrel aged flavors of the cognac and brandy. Some cherryness fruits with vanilla blend. Like a metaphor what the Pope would leave behind in his legacy, or like loose spare change in your seat. The main point is that it adds up, and 15% ABV definitely adds up as one of the strongest beer to emerge from Lost Abbey. What also adds up is the price. 35 bucks is no joke for a 750mm cork finished bottle, but the fans still came in and bought the one case limit regardless. By 12 noon they were completely sold out and tapped out. Many fans who haven't had the opportunity to try this rare release were upset with Abby's decision of the 12 bottle limit. Now, why didn't Abby honor the 2 bottle limit like in some reports that I've read? Who knows, right? Maybe it was a typo, or maybe it was significant with the 12 apostles, 12 making a case, right? Or maybe Jerry Garcia had something to do with it, because 35 times 12 equals 420, which is significant, like the burning of ceremonial herbs and incense that the Pope and including myself grew up to. Others say that 750 milliliters is a great value, however, the 375 milliliters would have been ideal since the content is already at 15% ABV. Other fans would have also had the opportunity to try the set of Vicante if it were in the 375 milliliter bottle. Lastly, I would like to say that the set of Vicante Ale is a treasure within its own merits. Like the changing of the Pope which has happened twice in my lifetime, the set of Vicante Ale is that kind of drink that may be open on a very special occasion. For those of you who bought more than two, definitely store it and age it with time. Because when you sacrifice a beer of yours, a part of your heart is shared. I'm sure Pope Francis would like this thought, wouldn't you? I mean, come on, his name is on the bottle for Christ's sake. Anywho, the Fountain of Youth has been brewed, so go out and find it. This is Jack Growler, stay venturous friends.